kami bangsa Indonesia dengan ini menyatakan kemerdekaan Indonesia. Banjir adalah permasalahan klasik di Jakarta. Dapat kembali berkembang dan terpelihara dengan baik. The Indonesian News Agency Antara was founded on December 13, 1937 by a few young journalists who were also freedom fighters. Antara took an active part in the struggle for national independence and disseminated the news of Indonesia's proclamation of independence throughout the country and the world. In 1962, Antara officially became a national news agency under the direct tutelage of the President of the Republic of Indonesia. Backed up by a network of bureaus and correspondents operating in almost all parts of the country, Antara is able to report on important or newsworthy events happening at national, provincial, and district levels credibly and within the shortest possible time nationwide and overseas. Today, Antara has representative offices in 32 provincial capitals in Indonesia and five correspondents abroad. Various products and services produced by Antara are Subscriber-based news service This service provides 500 to 700 news items daily for more than 300 international, national, and regional media via satellite or VSAT and web. The service is subscribed to by print media, radio and TV, portals, and other retail media. Portal News this is a service in which various categories of the latest Antara news can be accessed through www.antara.co.id around the clock. This service enables advertisers to promote their products and services effectively in segmented markets. Antara Photo Service This service provides news and feature photos on all categories of events produced according to the best professional standards by experienced Antara photojournalists. More than 50 selected photos are now distributed to customers daily. Indonesia Market Quote or IMQ IMQ gives real-time information on domestic and international financial markets in the form of graph analysis records and live news from stock exchange floors. Media Relations and PR Wire Branding through media relation activities is part of our services. It also includes the writing and instant dissemination news releases and pictures accurately and easily throughout the world through the Antara News Distribution Network and the AsiaNet Network that cover more than 20 countries in many languages. Antara TV the service provides qualified audiovisual programs for local and global television networks in the form of news features and documentaries. Antara TV is also preparing to enter the digital video broadcasted terrestrial to mobile business. Antara School of Journalism the school is a center for professional training in journalism supported by well-experienced facilitators, lecturers, and experts. The school also trains public relations officers in media relations. Antara Publishing Antara's publishing division provides print media with integrated services comprising editorial consultation, printing, and distribution. It also produces books, journals, and publications. Adiana Auditorium This division provides seminar, workshop, convention, and other big event organizing services in a strategic location with complete facilities.
Antara has an ability to access global information through commercial cooperation and non-commercial cooperation agreements with foreign news agencies such as AAP Australia, Xinhua China, Reuters United Kingdom, AFP France, DPA Germany, Kyodo Japan, Bernama Malaysia, and other news agencies. Antara also has cooperation arrangements with foreign associates such as Reuters and Bloomberg in marketing services to provide global market information and data. With foreign news agencies in Asia-Pacific, Antara has a strategic alliance consortium called Asia Pulse that provides business information services within Asia and established AsiaNet consortium in distributing press releases globally. Antara is actively participating in several regional and international organizations such as ANEX, ASEAN News Exchange, NANAP Non-Aligned News Agency Pool, and OANA, Organization of Asia-Pacific News Agencies. Currently, Antara is president of OANA for the 2007-2010 period. Since July 18 this year, Antara has become a state-owned enterprise called Perum LKBN Antara. With this status, LKBN Antara will be able to create information-based commercial businesses that are in line with state-branded news collecting and distribution activities. As the Indonesian State News Agency, Antara is belong to everyone. It's belong to you as well. Now, we are revitalizing our businesses by creating more value for our stakeholders, customers, business partners, employees, and also our society. We are here not only because of the legacy that inherited from our founders, but also because of our beliefs to build a new society to become more knowledgeable, wiser, and better. On behalf of Antara, I expect more support and cooperation for parliament, government, business partners, and all Indonesians to empower this agency to be world-class news agency. Equipped with the latest technology of marketing network, sophisticated distribution system, and smart personnel, which now provides various products of information and data, Antara News Agency is designed to be a global multimedia news service provider. The aim is building a knowledge-based society. Antara News Agency is now entering the new era of multimedia convergence. We envision a knowledge-based society in the future since we strongly believe that information technology and digitalization are only the enablers. We want to create a better future where knowledge is power and wisdom will make us better people and a better society.